Itamar Rubinovich, you are the former ambassador of Israel to the United States and you've been a negotiator with Syria, so you've had some interesting experiences. Is the two-state two solution basically dead? No, it's not. It's in danger. It's not dead. Uh, the, the peace process can still be revived. I think the, the prospect of one-state solution is frightening to Israelis. And I believe that when presented with a, with a reasonable uh, formula for a two-state solution, the Israeli public will support it. But do you think that's plausible at the moment when you've got uh, conflict turmoil in Syria, you have Islamic State, etc.? Why should there be any move from the part of the Israelis? Uh, it's not plausible right now because of what you said and because of uh, the makeup of the Palestinian leadership, the Israeli leadership, the weakness of the, uh, the American role right now. So uh, what I presented in, in our dialogue on, uh, on the stage was uh, an effort to overcome this problem, not to go directly into final status negotiation, use the Kerry paper that was prepared in 2014 as a vision and start to negotiate more modest goals right now in order to get us out of the current predicament and put us back into a peacemaking or negotiating mode. You mentioned the dialogue just now with uh, the PLO representative, um, or the Palestinian Authority representative. How do you find the WPC, the World Policy Conference, as a venue for this sort of dialogue? I think it's excellent. It's, you know, it's large enough um, to be diverse, to have a significant number of knowledgeable, interested, influential individuals. It's not the mass, let's say, of Davos where one feels lost, and it's not a tiny gathering of the same 25 familiar faces, but it's, I think, optimal size, very good makeup. It's my second uh, conference, and I'm very happy with it. Ambassador Rubinovich, thank you very much. Thank you.